Our Male Athletes of the Year nominees dominated this past season with a ferocity that could not be matched by their peers. Their prowess on the field, court, track, and mat were outstanding. Let's go to Patrick Cotto for our Male Athlete of the Year nominees presented by BMO Harris Bank. Our first Male Athlete of the Year nominee is a two-sport athlete and Equal Valley runner, Nicholas Dobolovsky. A member of the Wildcat Cross Country and Track and Field teams, the runner took a major step toward his senior year. Starting in the fall, Dobolovsky was poised to be one of the best runners the state has ever seen going into his senior season. Every race you watched, he was always the leader of the pack, winning many of his individual races, including the Naperville Twilight Invite, the DVC Conference Beat, and the Oswego East Regionals. After finishing in third at the Whitney Young Sectionals, the Wildcats wrapped up the season with a second place team finish behind Downers Grove North. Now we jump to the spring where he continued his showcase on the track. After winning the 1600 at sectionals, Dovolowski played a huge role at the state meet running as the anchor in the Wildcats 4x8 relay group. With his great final leg, the Cats finished first ahead of Manuka in the 4x8. The future Fighting Illini also finished third in the 1600, and those points could not have been more pivotal as Nicholas and his Nequa Valley teammates won the state championship by just two points over Manuka. What a way to end a great career. Up next is another Nequa Valley nominee, but this time we take a dive in the pool with Connor Boyle. A defending state champ in the 50 and 100 yard freestyle and an 11 time state medalist, Boyle was looking to defend his state title as a senior. But with COVID-19 cases rising, the IHSA only allowed regular season competition and no state series when swimming returned this winter. However, Boyle was ready to dominate his senior season no matter the circumstances. He helped the Wildcats to a 4-1 DVC record and a second place finish in the conference meet behind 204 rival Wabonzi Valley. While the season was short, Boyle won every individual race in which he participated. In his final meet with the Wildcats, Boyle saved his best for last, setting a brand new state record in the 100-yard freestyle with a time of 43.68 seconds. After competing in the U.S. Olympic trials in the 50 and 100 free this summer, the Wildcat will continue his swimming career at the University of Virginia. Now to the basketball court with Wabonzi Valley standout senior and Loyola Chicago commit Ben Schweiger. From a three-point shooter to an all-around player, Schweiger became a huge threat to opposing teams in the paint or outside the perimeter. After a breakout junior season where the 6'6 shooting guard earned all DVC honors, the future Rambler took his game to another level this winter. His senior season may have been cut short because of COVID-19, but that did not stop Schweiger from finding his success. He averaged 17 points and 8 boards during his senior campaign, which earned him the Naperville Sun and Beacon News Player of the Year. He was also named First Team All-State by the Illinois coaches. The senior also used his big hops on the volleyball court to help the Warriors win the DVC championship for the first time while being named the conference MVP. Another two-sport athlete in the mix with Naperville Central football player and wrestler Shane Roth. The heart and soul of the Naperville Central defense, Roth helped the Hawks to six wins on the season and came in clutch in two of their closest games. In week two against the Marmion Cadets, the Hawks were up 22-17 when the senior picked off Padrick Fitzgerald to seal the victory. In his final game as a Red Hawk, he blocked the game-tying extra point against Maine South to help the Red Hawks win their final game of the spring season 31-30. The DVC Co-Defensive Player of the Year racked up 48 tackles, forced four fumbles, and had two interceptions in a six-game season. His football career is not over yet as Roth will continue to hit the gridiron at Southern Illinois University of Carbondale. Before all of that, he finished his high school career in the late spring on the wrestling mat, winning in dual meets at 182 pounds against DeKalb and rival Naperville North. While both sports faced some tough challenges because of COVID-19, Roth certainly made the most of the condensed schedules with a pair of seasons he would never forget. 
Now to the soccer pitch with Bennett Academy forward Hans Heineke. The senior was hoping to help the Red Wings defend their 2019 state title, but boys soccer was moved from the fall to the spring and there was only a regular season and no state series. Despite the long layoff, Heineke made his senior season count in a big way. He scored 18 goals and tallied 8 assists in just 15 games and helped the Red Wings to a 14-1 record, putting the total at 35 wins over the last two seasons. Those 14 wins included a perfect 9-0 record in the East Suburban Catholic Conference. The Red Wings were so dominant this season, they scored 51 goals while allowing only 4 in conference play. To cap it all off, he was named the Naperville Sun Player of the Year, the ESCC Player of the Year, and an All-State selection. Starting this fall, Heineke will be playing soccer at McAllister College in Minnesota. Now let's wrap up with another two-sport athlete and our only non-senior with Matia Valley Jr., Jalen Johnson. After suffering a collarbone injury his sophomore season, Johnson returned in full force a year later. In the spring of 2021, he was the go-to target for Mustang quarterback Logan Frederick, whether it was finding the end zone or just helping his QB keep the play alive. The lanky Mustang hauled in 33 catches for 405 yards and three touchdowns in just five games. While the all-conference pick has one more season to compete on the gridiron, the 6'3 wideout announced he will continue his football career at Northern Illinois University. However, it's not just football where you will see this athlete stand out. Johnson is also a member of the Matia Valley Boys track team, competing in the 110 and 300 hurdles. Johnson set the school record in both hurdles while winning the DVC in both events as well. At the 2021 state meet at Eastern Illinois, Johnson entered as the sectional runner-up in the 110 and sectional champion in the 300 hurdles. After ending the season with third place medals in both events, Johnson set a new record with the best individual finish in Matia Valley's boys track and field history. If Johnson continues to progress like this in his senior year, he will have the opportunity to bring home Matia Valley's first ever boys track and field individual title. And the winner is the future Rambler, Ben Schweiger from Wabonzi Valley. It's the second year in a row a Warrior basketball player has claimed the top prize.